Hello, hello, everybody. We are back again in New Leaf. It's been a while since we visited this particular New Leaf town we're going to see today. Uh, if you remember, this was the town that resulted in... Or, sorry, this town came to exist as a result of selling my old town, my very, very old Animal Crossing town uh, that I had, you know, forever. So we sold it, we got millions and millions of bells, and we thought it'd be interesting to see what it was like to play Animal Crossing with full pockets. And so that is what we're doing. Um, how is everybody? Welcome. We're going to just kind of dive right in. And uh, yeah, let me know how you're doing. The Nintendo Online services have officially shut down at this point. Um, I wasn't really using them prior to everything that, that uh, happened the other day. But uh, I'm definitely sad to see them go. That's for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and start. No, don't start yet. Okay, wait a minute. I was going to roll the clock back a little bit because it's late. Maybe we restart. I just, I, it's going to get dark and I don't want that. Let me just, let me just restart. Lori, thank you for being a member for 19 months. And then I see uh, Marty Gans uh, gave a super chat earlier. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. All right, continue. Damn. Hainsey and Care Bear, how's it going? So April 10th uh, means weeds everywhere. Let's see. I need help first. You know what's cool? As I was setting up, I had <laughs> the game running on just that start screen you saw. And what was really funny is that it <laughs> the, the villagers were picking up weeds. So I thought that was really interesting. All right, we're just going to do like 2.30. That should be fine. There should be plenty of daylight. Kina for five months. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for becoming a member. Uh, we had our members only stream last week. Last time you left without saving your game. So some, <laughs> some of what you did last time may be gone. I'm very sorry. Please remember to save whenever you leave the game. I didn't, I, I, all I did was reset. How did it know? The game had barely loaded. Is Resetti going to come out? No. That's weird. Um, anyway, so yeah, I saw villagers picking up these weeds, and I, I was wondering if just leaving it on the menu screen long enough, they would pick all the weeds for you, and you wouldn't have to deal with these. That'd be kind of interesting. So we'll, we'll kind of clean up the town a little bit. We'll get ourselves reacquainted. I don't know how many in-game days we're going to play through. Uh, we were kind of cruising through last time. But, uh, yeah, I, I got a signature signature sheet, too. I have to go and get people um, sign, signing up for the comedy club. They, they need to approve of the comedy club. So we got the post office. Um, we've, <laughs> we've earned some interest. It's so ridiculous having all this money. Punchy said, I'm having a birthday party on the 11th. That's tomorrow. We might see that uh, during the stream today. Okay. Our mom sent us something. Now that spring is here, time to get out there and turn some heads. Okay. And then this is from Greta. By the time you read this, I'll be on a train heading off to my new life in a new town. See, they could just leave back in the day. But everyone thinks that this was the better game. Everyone thinks this Animal Crossing was the best Animal Crossing, but your villagers could just up and leave. Unless we did that with an amiibo. I can't remember. Here's the kitchen refrigerator you ordered. Oh, right, right. Yes, yeah, so we ordered some stuff from the campground. We were trying to get all cats living in town here. I don't know if there's a way to select multiple. Kitchen refrigerator. Kitchen island. Which I've just thrown on the ground. Comedy club? Yeah, that's how you get your uh, reactions in this one. A stew pot. 
And a blossom tea. So the stew pot looks customized. Let's go see this. I'll probably have cockroaches. Yeah. I guess I could like, oops. I like how I lay in bed and it sounds like they're crawling around. We'll see if that's all of them. Oh, this is a, uh, wait a minute, what is this? A chocolate coin? What do you do with a chocolate coin? All right, anyway, I wanna see the stew pot. Huh, it looks like it has mold in it. Okay. So this was, is, though the blossom tea is probably what we got from mom, right? I won't be keeping that. Favorite kind of coins. So, yeah, we have a few things. I think we ordered these from the place, the campsite, uh, when we were playing around with amiibos. Ew. This is going to be tiny, but for now, this will be where the kitchen stuff goes. It's a cool item. I think these rooms get larger. Okay, yeah, kitchen for now. Okay. And we can sell the extra junk we gotta and we gotta talk to villagers to try and get signatures. The villagers are going to be a little bit annoyed with me, because I haven't been around in a while. But you know what? That's a them problem. All right. Pesky cockroaches are gone. Look at us cleaning up already. So we'll head out. We're going to pay off another loan as well. Very many things to do. We got holes to dig up. Weeds to pluck. We need some signatures. Where have you been? Don't you know I was worried about you? Uh, you haven't been on vacation. You've just been avoiding me. Well, to make up for it, from now on, you've talked to me every day. It's going to be great, I swear. Okay, um, signature, please. I'm not here to talk to you about where I've been. I'm just here because I need something. Sweet. Oh, okay, that was Elmer. Yeah, there was a, there, it looks like there was a house right here. That's gone. Oh, I, I did consider going back to see what the last date was that we played on and just rolling back to that date, but... Uh, by that time, it was too late because I'd already done some testing and logged in at the correct time. The gray-brown flowers? They're, uh, they're wilting, yeah. The, this game is a little more ruthless. Your flowers can wilt. Your villagers can leave without notice. I'm wondering if I should... Yeah, we should probably check out the campsite today. Banjo, how's it going? Let's see. Um, what is this? Metal flagpole. Five meow coupons. All right. You can water them. I don't think I have a watering can yet is the problem. 
This must be Pave. What? It's still Franklin? I thought it was Pave last time. It was Franklin, and I got tricked again. Okay, order furniture. I wanted more kitchen stuff. So we got the kitchen island refrigerator. Uh, should we just get the like pancakes and stuff? Weeping fig. The chef's outfit's kind of cool. Let's do the chef's outfit. Oh, we're broke. Okay. Talia, how's it going? Pave looks older. I screwed up. I thought... Doesn't it look like Pave could be here? Come on. The clock made out of a rooster taxidermy looks like it could go in a kitchen. Which clock is that? I'm afraid I didn't see that clock. Did I scroll past something? Never understood the campsite. It's for, uh, it has like an amiibo purpose and it was a way to also inject some new furniture into the game, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I still also feel like I don't fully understand it. Like there's, there's definitely like a piece that's missing for me when it comes to uh, the value proposition of the campsite, you know? I think the extra RV slot is for an amiibo visitor, but I don't know how to use that. Rooster Clock has the rooster claws and feathers. And Franklin sells that? I just, like, missed it. Okay. Let's, uh... I want to find people, but I keep finding weeds. I knew about the amiibo feature, so I honestly never used it. Oh, uh... Didn't have any amiibo cards. I didn't either at the time. I've finally gotten to use it since, but uh, when they released Welcome Amiibo, I'm like, I don't have any Amiibo cards. And everyone was so excited about this update. I'm like, I guess it's fine. All right, so I guess I just met Mo for the first time. You want to build a club on Main Street? I'd love to go see some shows, so count me in. Okay. Why does Mo look so tall? The, all the villagers look taller in this game. It is a little awkward. I felt like in New Leaf, they went just a little too far with the, uh, the sizes of the villagers. Because coming from city folk, <laughs> it's like such a night and day difference. Hang on, Tangy. Just stay right there. Hold on. Hold on. Hang on. One second. No, it's fine. It's here. I I, I got it. Tur just here. Right over here. Don't worry. There you go. You found it. Perfect. We should, we should play a game called Mad or Sad, where we throw someone a pitfall, and we take bets on whether or not they pop out mad or sad. Mean? You're a good person. <laughs> this is mixed signals. Will you sign my petition? 
What a surprise. This is my old pal Dan. It's been a very long time since I last saw you. Did you go off somewhere or maybe our schedules just haven't matched up lately? I appreciate that Pee Wee didn't like give me a bunch of crap for disappearing. Sometimes you have friends that you just don't see for a while. Does any villager, is there like a chance that they won't sign it? Like certain personalities will be like, I do not need a club making all kinds of noise around here. It also feels a little disingenuous just to call it a club and not specify what kind of club. People might be expecting a place where they can go and, you know, dance and drink. And really it's just like this comedy club for one comic that happens to own the club and won't rent out the space to anybody else. He's not very good. And everyone just like signs this thing unwittingly. Sometimes your mayor leaves for 10 years and it's unreasonable to get upset over that. I got off the train and I specifically told them I, I'm not their mayor. I don't want to be their mayor. That they have, They've made a mistake. And they forced this on me. So I guess we can get our fortune read. I don't have a slingshot, do I? No. That would have been cool, though. Okay. Oh, look at this. Six coupons. What did we do? How did, why did we get six coupons? Mitzi. I wanted to talk about so many things. I was beginning to worry you moved away. A live venue. That's a great idea. I'm happy to see Mitzi thinks it's a place where people can go and Maybe sing, or do karaoke, or open mic nights, and... Nope. Just one comedian who gave up on touring and decided to open up his own club. Did Punchy sign it? Look <laughs> how he's holding the shovel. Where have you been? Don't you know I was worried about you? You haven't been on vacation, you've just been avoiding me. Alright. Look, see, we already saw repeated dialogue today. But that would never happen in New Leaf. New Leaf is the best one. Sorry, I'm still a bit salty at uh, people who have, like, outrage over New Horizons. I respect the New Horizons could have had some things New Leaf had, but there are a lot of people out there who feel like New Horizons is crap compared to um, this game. Olivia? Are you damn by chance you are? We finally meet. I'm Olivia. I've actually been living here for a while now. Uh, now it won't be awkward when we walk past each other. Sounds like a touch of sarcasm. I would never be sarcastic. Last signature document complete. Nice. Christian can't stay. That's all right. Thanks for dropping in. All right, did we collect? No, we did not. There's always more. All right. Accidentally dug up a weed. 
Okay. I suppose we can get our fortune read. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, reveal your future for 500 bells. Yes, please. What do we get? After the recycle shop closes for the day, golden furniture appears one after the other. The craftsman is much like an alchemist. This I see. In this place, I can see the signs. Oh, yes, I can. I see good fortune upon wealth. <laughs> Excuse me. Ornate bottoms. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This item will be key to unlocking true fortune. We need ornate bottoms. Let's go see if we can find some ornate bottoms. What was that about gold furniture? Can you guys help me decipher that? Does anyone know? Like this version of Katrina, they're all difficult except for the New Horizons one. Like these older versions of Katrina, I've always found to be like impossible to decipher. I just don't understand why they made it so weird. But I could I could be overthinking it. One of these is probably going to be... Well, I guess we found the money rock, which is unfortunate because I didn't dig a hole. Okay, we did okay, despite not having a backstop. Well, Streefy, how's it going? How have you been? It's mysterious. She's mysterious. What she said exactly, I can try to find in a guide. That's fine and all. It's just, you know, there's only so many games I'm willing to tolerate having to use a wiki on. And Animal Crossing has never been one of them. I'll do it. But... It sounded like what she was alluding to is that it's really easy to collect gold furniture if I'm wearing ornate bottoms after retail closes today. But I don't know if the furniture is just, you know, Katrina being silly. I, I, I don't know. We're gonna go back to playing New Leaf. It's my favorite Animal Crossing game in the series. Hey, listen, how's it going? Um, yeah, I've been. Uh, we started this town a while ago, and, and I kind of abandoned it again. But uh, I've been wanting to play for a little bit, so we're back. I'm trying to find the mineral rock. There were two that were really close to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one, maybe? So it's not either of these? Okay. Suspicious. I think there are also... I forgot what I was going to say. Nope, I lost it. If you couldn't tell, I'm a little tired today. All right. Um. One of these rocks needs to be smashed to bits. Try this one. What makes a rock suspicious? <laughs> Well, when I see two rocks really close together, it seems like one of them is going to be extra, and it's worth poking. Punchy just took that weed for me. That was nice. I was trying to pick it up, and he did it for me. I probably hit each rock, but just I must have missed one.
Hmm. There we go. All right, we found it. Let's head to retail first and get rid of the excess stuff. Who are your villagers? Um, I'll have to look on the list. I'm trying to think, but I can only remember a handful. We have... I thought map was in here. Okay, I'll, I'll check when I'm back outside, I think. No, I don't want to put anything in the flea market. Okay, sell. Okay, that wasn't worth much. But at least our inventory is a little less full. We got the flagpole from earlier, and then I gotta figure out who owns this lost item. Yeah, we'll um, look at the map here. Pee Wee, Mitzi, Elmer, Axel, Shep, Tangy, Punchy, Olivia, and Mo. All right. We have a net. Oh, we already have the net uh, and the shovel and the fishing rod. I don't have a timer, but I don't really need one. We can do fortune cookies. Is it real DS or an emulator? Yes. It's my real game that I grabbed and now is on an emulator for ease of streaming. Um, okay, do I want to buy wallpapers or floors? Exotic wall. Probably not. Oh. Yeah, I just need to collect stuff right now. I don't even know what I just bought. Cabin rug. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, this. I don't know if either of those are winners. Lucky ticket. I thought I could do both. Wii U console. This is playable, isn't it? It's also red. What do the red items signify? I'm gonna try and interact with it. Um, I think I think you can actually play that. I wanted to get the other the the DS, but uh, that's fine. Clawfoot Tub is not a bad prize at all. Consolation prize. I'll take that. 
There's so many games on the console, I want them so bad. Okay. Uh, we gotta go to the museum. We're gonna keep the amethyst for now. There's no point in really selling a lot of my stuff. Because there's a lot more storage in uh, the Welcome Amiibo version of Animal Crossing New Leaf. And I'm rich because we sold the town before. So... I don't think I have the inventory space to just go in here and start buying stuff. Talk to you. If you need something, you can ask the clerk over there. Um, This pink shirt's kind of cool. Pink PJ shirt. Oh, I thought it was more of like a a business shirt. I may buy it anyway. Oh, that design's for females, but I suppose it looks quite nice on you. Back when Animal Crossing was a bit more gendered. You know what? I'm going to shove this in your face. I'm going to buy it. New Leaf's the best one. That's what I've been told. Okay, awesome headwear in here today. I don't know if I have some of this stuff already. Uh, it's just been too long since we played, so I'm going to assume I have none of it and go on a shopping spree, except that my inventory's pretty full. Yeah, very full. We'll, we'll, we'll come back, we'll come back. Uh, we'll take care of the fossils. Angela, how's it going? I went and bought a fortune cookie for a dollar. I won a flat screen TV. It was great. Yeah. Indeed. Compliments the helmet. <laughs> All right. We'll assess some fossils. Recently got a PS5. I wish someone would create Animal Crossing game for it. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, I don't have a PS5 because there's just not anything on it except Spider-Man. Like, for me, that I'm interested in. Um, but when Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out, I'm probably going to get a PS5. Because I assume they're not going to give us a PC version at, at launch. Or for a very long time thereafter. And I'm not going to wait. Okay, uh, we can sell this fossil, I guess. We still gotta find the owner of the lost item. And I guess we need to go do something with the signature sheet as well. <laughs> well, it is, it is Blathers Museum. If he wants to sleep in the middle of the floor, who am I to tell him what to do? I got them all. Here's your signature sheet. Sims 4, I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy a lot. You're playing Sims 4 on the PS5? How's that work? I, every time I've played a uh, Sims game on a console, it's always been a hassle. Like, even the ones that are made specifically for consoles always felt to me like they were clunky. And would have ran better on a PC. <laughs> Maybe I'm I'm just a bit of a diva about that stuff. I don't know. Good to see you. Your edition is finished. Hmm. Uh, your home is much homier now. Uh, all right. Three hundred forty-eight thousand bells is no problem. I'll have that to you by the end of the day. Uh, I'm not going to customize the house just yet. It's been really good, actually, along with the amazing expansion packs. No lagging. I'm assuming you said you meant lagging. Keyboard's crucial for designs in Sim. It does feel that way, but if they manage to figure it out... I mean, can you hook up a keyboard and mouse and use that? Is that, like, an option? Repay loan. 
Okay, it's not letting me repay unless I have the money on hand. So we'll withdraw. Uh, we'll take out... Wait. We have two million bells. What? Huh? Oh, we took... That's right, that's right. Okay, we took the, the payday... We got more money for letting them trickle it into our account. I forgot. I'm like, where's our money? All right. Every day you get some money in your account, I think. Use controller runs fine for me. The herbs is one of my all-time favorites. I never got to play it. That, that, that one looked cool. Okay. Uh, confirm. You haven't tried using controller? Okay, so we got our loan paid. We got the signature sheet out of our inventory. They never did the unique styles or gameplay of the herbs in any other Sims game ever. Hmm. All right, further renovation discussions. Yes, please. Based on the space that's currently available in your home, I would recommend adding a new room, or at least increasing your storage capacity with a secret storeroom. Um, let's add something new. It doesn't really matter. First floor on the right. Cool. Do you know if we, do you know if we do the beautiful town ordinance, if we're able to put trash down to get ants and flies with those? Um, which game? I, I don't think I know the answer in either case, but maybe someone here does, but it might differ depending on the game, because this one has the beautiful town ordinance, as does New Horizons. New Leaf. That's a good question. Does anyone know? That's a really good question. Okay, let's go take care of our inventory real quick. We're going to go come back and shop more. Yeah, New Horizons does have the ordinances uh, as of the 2.0 update. They don't work as well as the ones in this game, though. The ordinance in the ordinances in this game were a little bit better. Uh, Alright, let's go drop some stuff off here. So, Amethyst... I don't remember how I sorted this, so give me a moment to kind of check. All right, it looks like this is all, like, furniture. Soda fountain. Okay, okay, okay. Virtual boy. I'm just going to grab this real quick. I think these are all random, though. So, yeah, we could... And is this clothing? This is clothing. And then, does this feature any floor wallpaper storage? Okay, kind of randomly. All right, we sell this, we put these down in the house. Pretty cool. All right. 
Now I just have a lost item and a fossil. I Google it. It says you can still catch them if you use rotten turnips with beautiful town ordinance. Okay. There you go. Now you just gotta rot some turnips. Okay, let's figure out who owns this uh, mitten. Drop something. Can't recall ever seeing this before. All I know is it's someone else's. All right. They don't give you hints in this game. You just have to torture everybody. <laughs> Tor torture yourself and torment everybody. Not mine. You should ask around. Okay, somebody's in here. Rotten turnips always give you flies. It sounds like it's candy pieces or uh, for the ants. I thought flies was trash. Oh, it's both. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, did, did Olivia just call this a kitten mitten? <laughs> Oh, we got a new bed. All right, I'll take that. Excellent. Now all we have to do is sell the Diplo neck and then we can go back into town and start shopping. Kitchen mitten. Okay. I thought it was kitten mitten, which would have been really funny. Candy's October? Yes. Cats, how's it going? We are playing some New Leaf. That is what's happening. Let's go back and go shopping. Um, if you guys were um, using the Nintendo Online services and you're sad they're gone for the 3DS and Wii U, I recommend doing yourselves a favor and Googling Pretendo. They're single-handedly rebuilding the online servers. Kitten Mitten is objectively better, yes. Could very well have a lot of these items at home, but I'm just I'm buying them just in case. I think I'm gonna wear this helmet. Nice. Kicks. I don't know if you shopped here yet. Crikey, it's the mayor here at my shop. Welcome, sir. My name's Kicks. I run this little shop. Please have a look around. Okay, look at this. Gold armor shoes. Buy them. Black rain boots. Yep. 
Yeah, my character's face looks uh, interesting. Checkered socks. Oh, we never checked for our innate bottoms. The music is great. The Nook's voices were a little bit much at first. I thought there's no way everyone sounds like this. <laughs> so you're, you must be very new to Animal Crossing. Or matching shoes, I guess. I wanted to just see if they had any pants that could be considered ornate. Two months. Which And which version are you playing? Okay, I don't think any any of these are going to be considered ornate. A kilt. New Horizons. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. That's awesome. I hope you're enjoying it. Basketball shorts. I don't think basketball shorts can be considered ornate either. The kilt would complete the look. <laughs> Fine. Has Dan written all over it? There's not enough fabric for that. There's not there's not enough here to write much on it at all. That's exactly why I should buy it. Wait, what about those socks that I bought that have like the, the checkered socks? That works. Yeah, that's a look. <laughs> Giorgio Armani slacks. Uh, okay. So we have to go home and, and put all the clothing away. Were there any other errands up here that we need to run? I don't think so. It's not the worst I've ever looked in this game. Yesterday was a stream where you discovered the nice branch. That one? You must mean that stream. Uh, let's see. Powdered wig, jester's cap. Okay, cool. We didn't buy any repeat stuff. Nice. We have the HMD now and the Cyber Shades. Flame pants. And then some sno snocks and sneakers. And if we go back into the furniture. Put this bed in here. Okay. It's a Wii U console. Do you want to play Desert Island Escape? Yes. Um, I don't know why, but every time I think of kilts, I think of the live-action Grinch movie where he tries on a kilt and goes to Max. It's not a dress. It's a kilt. Sick. I don't remember how to play Desert Island Escape. Never played this version. What's up with the stairs behind all the stores? Um, where is the person? Wait, where is the person is guarding? I'm sorry? 
Oh, you mean Digby. Um, Digby is back there. So that is, if you, okay. I don't think this is a thing you could really do anymore, but if you street pass with someone else who has a 3DS, like if, if you have a 3DS and they have a 3DS and those 3DSs meet, like like they get in range of each other, you will trade street pass data and all kinds of stuff on each console gets traded. And so sometimes you'll be alerted that you street pass with somebody and then if they have Animal Crossing and they built a house, uh, their house is visitable in that in that kind of street pass area. So you basically like collect people's houses and then you could buy stuff from their houses too. It's pretty cool. Okay, I do not remember how to play this at all. This is beginner, intermediate, and advanced. I played Puzzle League, but I didn't really play this. You can use amiibo cards or figures or two play coins each to set, uh, select with three companions. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Okay, hold on. All right. Stand by. Okay, um, I'm just going to grab some random ones here. We got Bangle. We got, can I, can I throw Digby in? You can. Okay, cool. And... Then we have Timmy. <laughs> what a what an odd assortment. Um, okay, cool. So we have three companions. They have st some strengths and weaknesses, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They all run in real time. That's always kind of what made Animal Crossing unique is they use the real time clock. Timmy looks terrified. He probably should be. Materials for building a raft are hidden on the island. You and your hand-picked band of pals must explore the island. Find materials, gather food, and plot your escape. But don't dilly-dally. There's a time limit. Your score is displayed on the touchscreen in the center. Uh, your score depends on exploration and progression, so do your best. Okay. I uh, prefer solo activity even when it comes to camping. Focused on finding rapid materials and food. Won't rely on tools or medicines. Okay. What do I do? Search here, four spaces left. Wait, what? Escape? not helpful okay stick no thanks okay He's a heightened sense of smell, can detect items in nearby spaces. Send Digby this way. Oh, oh, he found a little pitfall. Oh no, what's gonna happen? <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm stuck and I can't move help. We're not very good at this game. Uh, skilled at using slingshots. Can defend monster... Defeat, wait, can turn defeated monsters into foods and medicines. That's disgusting. 
Okay. You got a stick. Maybe you can make a tool. You got a stone. Maybe you can make a tool. Choose an explored space to set up camp there. Everyone will start from that space in the morning. Lone wolves can't by themselves. Uh, I will put them... There's all... Uh, well... I guess I'll put them right here. In your camp, you can combine resources and create equipment. When you finish preparing, eat dinner and get some rest. Eating uses a day's worth of food, so keep an eye on quantities. What should we do now? Make a tool. Okay, we can make a slingshot or a shovel. Slingshot. Someone someone can use a slingshot. I forgot who. Now he can face wild creatures with confidence, I hope. What should we do now? Uh, check items. You can make any tools with the items. You, you can't make any tools with the items you have. No materials. Okay. Eat and sleep. I like how Animal Crossing New Horizons was like entirely based off this concept. Six days left. And it's Bangle's turn. Okay. Um, Bangle's gonna go out this way. One. But you're gonna leave all the supplies behind. Two. Bangle, you're the worst. Okay. Three. And that's it. I have to waste a move going backwards. Okay, so Digby is going to go this way still. What is that? Piece of cloth. Oh, a sail. All right, and then Timmy, I'm going to have climb up here. About lookouts. Lookouts offer great views. From the top of a lookout, you can see more of what's out there. Okay. This tree is full of delicious pears. Shake the tree to get fruit. Oh. Looks like Catan. <laughs> Four! Nice. When you find edibles such as fruit or fish, they're stored as rations. When you have enough food rations to satisfy your entire party, your camp food increases by one day's worth of rations. Nice. A log. Get off the island to complete all the raft by collecting three logs and one sail. Okay, we found the sail already and we found one log. Well, rest in peace is Timmy. I think this is probably the best tile because there's still a lot of unexplored territory. But probably this one. Well, he only has two tiles left here. One, two, three. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, put him here. Okay. 
Well, Shreve, you'll see you later. Uh, eat and sleep. Five days left. Okay. So Bangle has found supplies that uh, we're probably not going to end up using. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, why do you keep walking into these? time. One, two, three. Dang it. I feel like kind of a waste of a day. I guess I could have gone down here. I don't know if it would have mattered. So... There's no more food. We'll need to find some more tomorrow. They ate all their rations. Not enough food. Okay, hold on. We kind of need to send everybody to the north. Can Bangle collect the sail? There's a point, because they don't have enough moves to get over there. Yeah. Okay. So I can send one of them over here, and they can knock out four spots. So Digby can go one, two... Three. Whoa, it's a beehive. I, If I get the bees away from their hive, I could have, snag some honey. Let's shoo them away. Look at them fight the bees. Digby, you can't fight the bees. Oh, we broke the th nest. <laughs> I get mixed comments about Animal Crossing Monopoly. Is it, is it good or not? I still have yet to play it. I want to. Oh, not another beehive. Okay. We're out of food, so I guess shoot them away. I don't know if we have another choice here. Break the hive. Oh, good, 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 good. Come on. Two! Dang it. Unfairly complex. Need to buy the Animal Crossing Monopoly. They at least got us a day's worth of food. Oh, gross. It's a centipede. What should I do? Fight or flee? It looks like I have a really good chance of winning this fight, so I'll fight. Oh, I have the slingshot. That's right. It's kind of messed up. I'm in their habitat. 
What do we get? Got some medicine. Search here. Okay. So we need a sail and a log. And all that stuff is here. So if we set up camp here, we're good. We can escape. Yeah, I've certainly never seen a giant centipede in Animal Crossing. This is supposed to be the first level. It's supposed to be the easiest level. And <laughs> I almost killed the whole party. There, right, we got the sail. Um, and then Digby's turn. Got a log. We made the raft. What a great raft. Time to escape this crazy island. I don't think I've ever played enough of this game to beat one of the levels. Look at him. That is awesome. Overall bonus 10,000. We did not quite get the uh, target score. We're in first. Well, that was Desert Island Escape. That's cool. I, I like this. I like Puzzle League, too. It is a shame that... Um, Subsequent Animal Crossing games, New Horizons, did not have any mini games built in. Um, it's one thing that I think Palea did right. We've been playing Palea. We played yesterday on Twitch. And, uh, you know, we've been talking a lot about things that we like about Palea, dislike, whatever. And I do think that something Palea did right was the arcade game that they put in. For, for as terrible as that game is... Um, it, it was something they did correct, I think, because what we need in games like this are, are things to kind of keep us engaged, you know, like when you don't feel like decorating, decorating anymore and you did your daily tasks, is there anything else to engage with, you know? And it looks like the, that desert island escape game has a lot of levels. Like if you really wanted to play through that, you could. And uh, have a lot of fun, you know. Wow, I can't, I can't catch this to save my life. OG Animal Crossing had GameCube. No, uh, Nintendo. OG Animal Crossing for GameCube had NES games built into it. That was pretty cool. Catching some bugs because I don't have a lot of bugs. There's also, we have a perfect pear tree. I should probably plant more of those, but then again, I'm very rich, so. Why I'm not a huge fan of New Horizons? 
Got my island of five stars. Need to decorate my neighborhood more. And it's done. I definitely got a lot out of New Horizons once I started, like, getting into, uh, like, wanting to decorate every square inch of my island. Like, this game is great, but the only way you can decorate is with trees, flowers, and a few public works projects around the town. It just doesn't feel like there's as much customization. Let me just catch a flea. Decorating is good. Thank you. I, I enjoy it. I just can't... I can't only decorate in games like this. Like, I, I kind of mentally exhaust myself if I try and do that too much. I thought for sure there'd be more bugs out. Oh, I just scared one. I should be more careful. Oh, uh, we already caught one of those. All right, well, I guess I'll go to the museum. Put bugs in your yard and have you in paradise? That's true. Yeah, I like that. Lather is going to be so happy to see some bugs. Oh, it's just the flea. All right. Does the version have the coffee house in the museum? No. Uh, actually, this version has the coffee house as its own building that you can actually place in your town. I'm not exactly sure when we unlock it, but uh, that's how that works, and it's super cool. There's a mini game in uh, in this one where villagers come in and they order coffee, and you try to give them what they what they want. It's another instance where you'll probably find yourself if you're like me pulling up the wiki going all right what do you want <laughs> what's your favorite thing because i i don't remember love the fit by the way oh thanks <laughs> townsfolk like a hold a ceremony just come uh Celebrate completely the brick bridge. All right, fine. People better show up. Yeah, the town seems so excited for the brick bridge. Half of them didn't even come to, you know, enjoy some champagne on this very dangerous bridge. On to the next project. There's no time to enjoy the present. We must be thinking ahead to the future. Sweet. Tons of the same name. I called it Windfall because I was uh, <laughs> selling my old town, and so we had a ton of money. Scatter. Everybody scatter. Oops.
Okay. Just wanted to see if there's any other public works things I could look at. Start a new project. Oh, there's a lot of things. We can get the police station. Modern, classic. We can get the reset center. More bridges. I'm pretty good for classic police station. I don't know where I want to put it yet. What is custom design sign? Okay. Why do I have so many of these unlocked? Is it because it took it from the old town? There's way more in here than I thought there would be. Huh. That's pretty cool. I don't remember having some of these. Right. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you guys off, I think, because I want to keep this one short. Uh, we played through a whole day, got a bunch of stuff done. I do want to keep revisiting this town. It's a lot of fun. We're going to send you on a raid. We're going to raid our friend composer, Cleo. Um... When you get in there, can you please do me a favor and say, that doesn't sound like a fart keyboard. That doesn't sound like a fart keyboard. You can copy and paste this message. Just throw it in there once. Um, he'll laugh. It'll be fun. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll hopefully have more energy next time we stream. I'm a bit tired today. I really wanted to stream anyway because I just want to chill out and play some New Leaf. But uh, yeah, go ahead and... Tell Composer Cleo that that doesn't sound like a fart keyboard. I'll see you guys when we go over there and uh, have a great rest of your week. We'll probably be live on Friday or Saturday, so keep an eye out. All right, everybody. Catch you later.